Um, I don't know. For me, it's always all, all I care about is the the people that I'm playing in the room with. I know it sounds bad, but I really don't. I love traveling, but I love traveling for the sake of getting to hang out with my band, with my fans, and playing music. I mean, it, if I could do the same thing, you know, 15 minutes away from my house, I would just stay there. That sounds so bad, but if all, if everyone could just come to me, I don't have, I don't have a niche for traveling. I grew up very isolated and very, we never traveled anywhere. So I love getting to do this, but it's for the sake of seeing people, not for the sake of seeing buildings or for trying new food or anything. That's wonderful, but to me, life is about people. It doesn't, the other stuff is just kind of like, you know, whatever. There was one specific moment when I was in the hospital about two years ago, um, spending time with the, the birth mother of what's, what's now my oldest daughter. And um, it was uh, just watching her go through something that for me and, and my wife was the greatest joy of our life. And for her was, um, the most painful thing that she was, you know, ever going to go through, and just living the months pr prior to that, the the years prior to that, that, which led up to all these decisions, and um, it it was just a huge mess of really wonderful, joyful emotions and really sad, hard emotions, and um, and I kind of I wanted to, uh, I felt inspired to write songs that were able to kind of capture both those things. Everything I've written before is just really sad. You know, it really is. There's hopefulness in them, of course, but they're so mono-emotive. You know, you just, you kind of get one thing from them. And I didn't want to do that, I, I, because I was feeling complexities that I hadn't really felt before. So um, that's the moment that started the, that started the record. This was the first time that I did. I, have, I hadn't enjoyed it. I love, the people I've worked with before are great, all that stuff, you know, and they are. but. Um, I didn't enjoy it before. It was it was very difficult. I mean, there were. It's hard to, you know. Go down a list of the mistakes that you've made, and that's kind of what I was doing, you know. <clears throat> um, but this one was wonderful because of what I said about the bringing in different emotions into the the whole process, into the writing process, the recording process, um, and. And it, it was just a it was just a really free environment experience. I, we didn't go in with with a big you know to do list or plan. It was just like let's let's kind of follow the songs. Let's sort of let the song go in the studio and just sort of chase it around with different instruments and, and be casual about it and um, you know work hard and be dedicated, but don't be so controlling or precious over the whole thing. And uh, I, I loved it. This was the first time I ever had a good time, and it was uh, it was pretty amazing. I started writing songs because. I loved music because I was in graduate school for counseling and I needed something that was going to give me some catharsis so I could empty out a lot of this old stuff. I felt like I was, to use a cheesy psychology analogy, I was carrying a lot of emotional baggage with me and um, I wanted to be a great therapist. I wanted to be really brilliant at my job and I knew to do that I had to get myself well first. So. Yeah, so songwriting for me was like, I'm going to write all this stuff down and just get it out and be done with it. You know? um, and that was kind of the beginning. And, and there was some really, you know, some of it was very gradual, some of it was very immediate. But um, the, the long and the short of it is that uh, I just got a lot of stupid luck and people found my music online, like MySpace and all that stuff. And uh, and I just I kind of went with it. I thought it made sense. It felt it felt like the right thing to do, and um, I felt like I was able to combine what I loved about human beings and studying and working with human beings with um, making music, which was also kind of the other half of my passion. The whole goal when I wrote a song is to um, get to a level of affective experience and insight that's the exact same that I'm shooting for when I'm when I've been a therapist and when I've had therapy myself that's the same thing that I that I want you know so when people at shows they come up and they're like yeah I was just I was crying the whole show I'm like that's that's cool I was crying when I wrote the record so you know we're we're both doing something right I think you know um, yeah for me that's what I that's what I shoot for my parents are both um, they're both musicians um, they're both blind and 
um, in the blind community, not always, but often has been my experience that, you know, obviously sounds are going to be a pretty important thing. Music is an important thing um, because there's no visual information being recorded. You know, you don't have an experience of colors, of movies, of um, paintings, you know. So your ears become your, your eyes, essentially. And so music was really important to my parents. My dad um, still to this day is, is just an avid organ and classical music nut. And it's, you know, it's, it's one of his great loves. And my mother has always kind of, I kind of learned how to approach music as a, as a therapeutic thing from her. That was sort of the way that she dealt with a lot of her feelings was by listening to records and things. They're proud of me. I, I don't think it would have mattered, to be honest with you. I don't, I think they were pretty, uh, I think they were pretty cool with whatever. I think, I think my dad is maybe a little, it's sweet. I think he's a little envious because he made, you know, responsible decisions when he was young to take care of the family and, you know, get a proper suit and tie kind of job. And, um, but so I think, I think it's neat for me because I feel like I get to kind of share this vicarious thing with him where he can sort of think about me doing this and I think it makes him happy. Um, and uh, yeah, I, th I don't, yeah, I think, I mean, I know my mom's proud of me, but I don't think she's proud of me for this. I think she's just proud of me because she cares about me. The fortune, um, that to me is kind of the, I think it was the first song I wrote for the new record. And uh, it's kind of, it's just sort of meant to be like the, a journey that someone takes. And the main character in the story is, is was inspired by the, birth mother of my my oldest daughter and it's the idea of someone having the courage to do something when there's not a clear um, positive end there's not like a happy ending at all it's not like even there's a lot of sacrifices that we do that are they seem really altruistic but um, you know if you hold the door for somebody, they're probably gonna say thank you. You're probably gonna feel good about yourself, all these things, you know. But to watch someone do something where no one is calling them a hero. In fact, some people are saying they're, they're being awful. They're being, you know, they're making a terrible mistake, you know. Um, but them still walking out the door, still doing the decision. That to me is really um, beautiful. And it's kind of a singular kind of courage that, that I don't think you see too much in the world. So that's the idea of fortune. It's just that idea of that taking that choice, making that journey. Um, and the cover, um, the Smith's cover, is just, uh, um, uh, I don't know why I like it so much. I, it's one of those songs that's very nostalgic for me, I guess. I think I listened to it when I was young, and it just, it puts me back in a place where I was, I was younger and I had more hair. And, you know, my back didn't hurt sometimes when I woke up, but um, it's just it's a it's a beautiful, perfect pop song. That's why I like it. Fortune in the fellow on the other side. Wrap ourselves in blankets, crossing the. So I 